Hello once again, everybody. Welcome to your terrific Tuesday, May 23rd, 2023, episode 546 of the Turning Point series. In this one, we're going to learning about the eternal city. Beginning with Revelation 21, verse 2, our recommended reading is Hebrews 11, 8 through 10. Our turning point is from Matthew Henry, and our Bible reading is Nehemiah, chapters 8, 9, and 10. So if you're excited about this one, hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Remember the like challenge. Go back to the first video of the day for explanation. And remember the like challenge will be if it's not met by episode 1100 of the Daily Devo videos, then it will be canceled. And I do not want to cancel it, so don't make me cancel it. How was your Tuesday? How well did it go? And then what are you looking forward to for your hump day Wednesday tomorrow? So let me know in the comments. So without further ado, let's learn about the Eternal City. Nehemiah 21.2 says, Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. So, so Ecclesiastes 3.11 might be a summary of the whole Bible. God has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has put eternity in our hearts, except that no one can find out the work that God does from beginning to end. Though this earth, which is God's creation, is beautiful, yet we long for more. We long for eternity, for the roots of humanity in Eden. But our long, longing requires walking by faith, because we know we, can, we can't know the details of God's plan by our own efforts. So before we go any further, let's turn in our Bibles and read Hebrews 11, 8 through 10. So hang on for a quick flash, and I'll be right back to read it. I just have to find it in my Bible. So, so hang on for just a second, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So... Yep. Oh, I forgot to say. Subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, share the video channel with your family and friends. Help me reach the 50 mark first. So I've only got five more to hit that number. My three year anniversary is on May 27th, which is Saturday. The three year of videos is somewhere right around episode 1110, somewhere in there. It may not be 1110, but it may it's one of those around that that number. And then I would like to reach 100 subscribers by the end of su school summer, August the 1st or 15th at the latest. So if you do that for me, I greatly appreciate you. Sorry for forgetting to do that one, but I just remembered it. But um, Hebrews 11, 8 through 10 says, By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place where he would Receive as an inheritance, and he went out and no, not knowing where he was going. By faith he dwelt in the land of promise, as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he waited for the city which has foundations, whose builders and maker is God. So, but we can know some details that he's revealed to us. John 3.16 promises that faith in Jesus Christ will result in the gift of eternity we long for. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever should believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And as we have been given a picture of our eternal destination and home, New Jerusalem, Hebrews 11.10, the city which has foundation, whose builder and maker is God. 
So Revelation 21 and 22 paints a picture of the eternal city that defies human imagination. So read Revelation 21 and 22 and give God thanks for the city that will satisfy every eternal longing of the heart. Amen. So Matthew Henry says, those who have the new Jerusalem in their eye must have the ways that lead to it in their heart. So if you have new Jerusalem in your eyes, you must have that part in your heart to make it there. Excuse me. So I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trust in God. He'll keep you safe and all you say in new 2023 and beyond. And until tomorrow, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back tomorrow for another glorious hump day Wednesday. Let's see what God has in store for us then. At 7, we will be talking about episode 10, 69, part 1, and the memory and memory and the Holy Spirit. Another teaching of John from John 14, 26, from Henry M. Morris. Part 2 of episode 1069, after 1, we'll be learning about a blessed routine from Leslie Coe, K-O-H, from Ecclesiastes 2, 17 to 26. So, um, and in tomorrow's Turning Point, episode 540. 547, we will learn how to look and ask. 1 Thessalonians 5.2 is our beginning passage. Our um, recommended reading is 2 Peter 3, 11 and 12. John Calvin has the turning point. And in our Bible reading is Nehemiah chapters 11, 12, and 13. So stay tuned to that. I've decided to wait until later tonight to get to it. So stay tuned for that. You'll see those tomorrow at 7, 1, and 7. So, so stay tuned for that. So until then, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> so until tomorrow. Me and Baby Yoda, we out until then. So have a great rest of your um, terrific Tuesday evening. And come back tomorrow for another glorious hump day Wednesday. And see what God has in store for us in those tomorrow. So until then, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Have a great rest of your terrific Tuesday. And we'll see you tomorrow for another glorious hump day Wednesday. Yay! Hump day! Yay! Can't believe what he's going to say, but until tomorrow, everybody, I'll see you then. Goodbye.